Hello everyone, welcome to the Power BI course. Today we are going to learn about field parameters. Now, what is the field parameters and how we can use that? So, field parameters are a parameters where uh, on the design side you design it to give more flexibility to the users and user dynamically change the category or value fields according to their uh, need on the visual. So without a delay, let's get started. Uh, first, you need to enable that feature from the options. Uh, so let me show you that I'm going to open up Power BI and the field parameters is located on modeling uh, from the ribbon and there is a parameter section if you click on that down arrow and you can see the fields here that is the field parameter in case if you do not see it then you need to go to uh, the file um, from the menu and just click on this options and settings and from the options from the preview feature you just need to enable it uh, like this so preview features and there is the field parameter and click OK. Now, um, how do you use it and how it can improve your report quality? So let's get started. I have a couple of uh, tables in my data model and let's get first data. I'm going to click on this uh, cluster column chart and me resize it and let's get some data. So on the X axis, I'm going to use my channel name and on the y-axis then I'm going to use my um, total sales amount and we have now our bar chart let's just quickly format it so you can see all labels so on the title I'm just going to put it in the middle folder and then I'm going to uh, increase the font size on the x-axis and maybe make it bold and can have a data labels as well and the y-axis as well I'm going to increase the font size and the title fonts as well and the data label fonts as well and the position should be in inside a values fonts okay so that's enough now let's create some parameters so i'm going to click on the modeling tab and from the new parameter i'm going to select these fields and in the first uh, option here what will your variable adjust so i'm going to leave as it is on the fields uh, you can have the numeric range parameter as well for now i'm going to use fields and my parameter name is it's a dimension I'm going to use, so dim parameter. And I'm going to use my channel name from channel, my continent name from geography, and my class name from the product. And I'm going to click create. And now I have my para parameter created, and it looks like similar to the slicer. So I'm just going to reposition it on the top uh, and we will see it in a form of buttons. So I'm going to format it uh, from the format pane. Then um, I'm going to use the slicer settings and my style should be the tile. So we can see as buttons. My selection, I wanted to put it on the single select and uh, the slicer headers I don't want it and the values I'm going to just going to increase a font size and bold and we can change the color as well so black the font color okay so that should be enough now we need to sync the parameter with this visual so currently our visual on the x-axis has a channel name so I wanted to put it my uh, field parameter which we created so I'm just going to or click on this arrow and when I expand it I can see my parameter uh, uh, with other tables in my data model 
So I'm just going to expand that dim parameter and select that parameter. So now the, these both are synced. And if I change my class name here, then I can see the class name change here as well on the visual. So now it's showing me what I want, channel name or continent name or my class name on my x-axis. Okay, now let's change this um, value uh, as well um, according to our preference. So I'm going to create another um, parameter here. So click on modeling again and select the field parameter. And this time my parameter name is value parameter, value parameter like that. And I'm going to select uh, profit and sales both. So a user can toggle between uh, profit and sales and create. And again, we have this parameter uh, looks like a slicer. So I'm going to reposition it at the top and let's format it. So my format pane and sorry, my format pane and I'm going to select this slicer setting and I want it in tile form. My selection sh should be single select and I do not want header and let me increase the font size. Okay, so we have now our second y-axis field parameter as well. And let's sync it with the, with our visual. So I'm going to select the visual and we are going to change this total sales on y axis with our new parameter, which is our value parameter. And now they both are synced. So you can see that now it shows profit as profit is selected. If I select my total sales, then you, it, it change uh, accordingly. So that is about the field parameter, how you can create it and how you can give a flexibility to your user that they can change the visual uh, as they need. Now, if you, if you wanted to add something or remove something on the field parameter, then you need to go to the this data pane here and select your parameter. So when you select the parameter, it shows the DAX code in this formula bar. And let's say if I wanted to add my total cost here. In that case, then if I select, if I see my uh, sales table, then I have my total cost field here as well with the total sales. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to select this last line copy this last line, control C, and I'm going to put it comma at the end of this line and shift enter. So I have space now and now paste it. So uh, I copied the same line here. Now I'm going to change the name, which is my cost. So I'm going to change it with cost. So total cost is my name, which will show on the button. And then uh, the sales table, we have a total cost as well. So just I'm going to remove this total sales and going to select total cost here, which is this and just enter it. So now we should have our uh, cost as well. So you can see we have our cost as well. So the user can toggle between profit, cost, so cost and the total sales. If you wanted to remove, then again, uh, similarly, you can select the parameter, go to the uh, DEX formula bar here, and you can just remove that. 
so uh, that is all about field parameters and how you can use it and how you can uh, enhance your report quality guys if you like the content of the video then please comment like share and subscribe if you already use this feature then please share your experience and thanks for watching thank you